Hi, today we will see how to log in to Node-RED by using sign in with Google button. So we have some 2-3 steps uh, before we can achieve this. The first step is to install Google Passport. So my installation is on Windows. Uh, you may have installed it on some Linux based system also. So for both of these uh, systems NPM is possible. So use this command to uh, install Google Passport. It may take a few seconds before it's completed. So the second uh, step is to make some changes in the node red settings file. So locate the installation folder and uh, take a backup of the settings file because it's quite easy to make a mistake in this and your node red will not come up because of this. So first take a backup and then open the existing settings file. Uh, if you have not made any changes, you can see that there's a lot of things that's commented out like this admin auth uh, block which means that you don't have any uh, login uh, setup previously so let's not uncomment it and do a lot of things just put paste in the block that i am pasting it now i will put it into this uh, block i will put this block into the description from where you can take the whole thing so here uh, just make sure that you need to fill out the ID secret and the callback URL correctly. For me, the callback URL is uh, on my local host machine. So primarily I work from my Windows laptop and I call the Windows Node-RED itself. In case if you have a Linux based installation which you want to access it from somewhere, put in the IP address and don't forget the comma at the last uh, end. Uh, the details that needs to be filled into this settings file we need to uh, go into the google cloud console and get the details so log into your google cloud console first we need to uh, create some credentials so let's start with that yes so here we'll start with creating oauth credentials Node-RED is a web client, so I am selecting that one, then fo followed by, you need to put in the redirect URL. Here in this case, you should be very careful with what you are putting it. Um, it's basically the same uh, line URI that we have in our settings file. So we can just copy paste the whole thing from there. If you make any mistake in this particular URI, this sign in with Google is not going to be happening properly okay i typed it right okay localhost ADDT, auth strategy callback it is the same mm. right i have missed out the slash slash right now it is proper so we'll create it it's done so we get client id and client secret so copy the client id go back to the settings file and paste it next we move on to the client secret copy it again and paste it yes so that's all we need to save the settings file so the part in the settings file is completed uh, I also need to create an OAuth consent screen if you're doing it for the first time you will it will be blank but since I've tried it out already it is already coming for me that is uh, I created this OAuth consent screen uh, Google does not let you to delete it so I couldn't delete and create it once again. I'm just showing you what I created already. So the app name is Node-RED. Uh, put in your uh, uh, support emails, etc, etc. Allowed domains, I put in as gmail.com authorized domains. Put in the developer contact information. These are all some mandatory fields without which you will not be able to complete the OAuth consent screen. Also for logging in, you don't require any sensitive scopes that is sensitive information, only some non-sensitive scopes are required. 
which we have already selected and finally when you finish this whole two three pages thing you will see that you can see the summary yes so that's it so we have finished all the steps for the sign in with google now we will just restart the node red right so now we check whether it works yay it works Yes, we are done. Thank you.